Hi guys, it's Numastaka, and I'm back with you again for another video uh, of some coins. Uh, you probably saw my uh, my channel or took a look at your feed and saw a travel video of my journey to Florida, and you probably thought, what's going on? But have no fear, coins will reappear on the Numastaka channel, and uh, there will be some uh, arrivals of new coins in Florida, so there'll be a few while I'm here before I get back, and then you can look forward to some massive, massive mega unboxings of NGC coins as well. But uh, the ones that I wanted to show you today are some arrivals from uh, one of my favorite Silver Forum members. And uh, the thing I like about the coins he sends me is they're all so interesting. There are some great coins. He kind of picks particular coins which are distinctive, high quality, and, uh, and really cool, and uh, so it gives me some interesting stuff to show you guys as well. As you can see, everything he sends me arrives beautifully packaged, meticulously prepared, an absolute example to anyone who sends coins in for grading for uh, how these coins should actually uh, be prepped and prepared before grading. So, I've got some great coins to, to show you. Uh, a lot of these coins are coins that are new to me, which is always nice. It's always pretty cool when somebody sends in coins that I don't have uh, already, or in my collection, or I've never received for grading from anyone else. So there, there may be a few here that we've already had before, you may have seen on the channel, but some of them will be completely uh, new, which is great. See, I think that um, this particular guy has quite a good strategy of picking off semi-numismatic coins, low mintage, special coins, key years, and I would recommend the same strategy to, uh, to anyone, really. This is one of my particular loves. Uh, this is uh, ha been very, very popular this year. There's only 500 of these that were produced. It's a, a key year, very low mintage. Obviously, the, uh, the one-tenth of an ounce only had 300 coins uh, minted, and that is uh, destined to become a classic. Anyone who got some of one of those was uh, incredibly lucky. This one was slightly more easily available, but sold out pretty quickly. And I, rem I remember Atmex had these for about 360 bucks, and then they went up to about 460, 500 bucks pretty, pretty quickly as well. Other dealers followed suit. Uh, but there are, this is, I think, a really good one because everyone likes quarter ounce coins. Uh, it's a great format. It's a nice chunky coin uh, and uh, very, very low mintage. This one is the first one of these that I've seen. Um, this is the new Britannia bullion coin, quarter ounce. I mean, it looks so well made that it could equally be a proof or something, but it is, in fact, a bullion version. And it's got all that new, very intricate kind of working in the fields of all this, uh, all the patterning, which I think is really nice because when they left very, very clear, plain areas, there was a lot more that could go wrong. And I think they've made these coins a little bit safer to own by putting all of that intricate work into the background fields of these coins on the reverse, a little bit like the, uh, where if you saw the, uh, the 10 ounce silver um, Queen's Beast, the Griffin have the same treatment on the back. And then on the front, you've got this kind of radial sunburst kind of pattern. And I think it's really, really nice. I think they're finding their feet with these Britannia coins. And it's not an expensive coin to buy right now from Royal Mint Bullion. Then we've got a, another um, Libertad. This one is 1 20th of an ounce, 2017. Um, 500 of these were minted in the sets. And there were only 100 out of the sets. Most of those sets will not get broken up. Probably 80% um, will get kept in the sets over time. 20% um, will normally get broken up and graded. So there will be a number of these being graded. But actually, this is one of the lowest mintage coins over and above the 500 sets and is a pretty good bet, I think. Then we've got another coin that, um, that I haven't seen before. This is, a, uh, this is a French coin uh, minted in 2014 and it's to, it's to celebrate the 250th anniversary of Baccarat Crystal 
Um, there were a thousand of these coins uh, minted, and it's got uh, this kind of uh, crystal in place of a, a zero embellished with red enamel. I think it's really a uh, really nice coin. I think it's um, around about a quarter of an ounce of gold. I must check on exactly how much uh, gold is in it. But um, it's a really, really nice coin, one of a series of coins. And uh, later on in this video, you'll see some, some of the silver uh, larger coins also to celebrate the Baccarat 250th uh, anniversary as well. So pretty nice choice. There were a number of these in different denominations, some of which were quite a lot bigger and chunkier than this. But this is a really, really lovely example uh, of an interesting coin and a good one to collect. I'm not sure what kind of investment it is or what kind of interest there is at the moment in French proof coins, but it is something which is a little bit unusual, um, that's for sure. So still keeping with the theme of Baccarat, uh, let's have a look at a coin which uh, actually in a way I like even better than the gold version. Um, so this coin is a very special edition. It's uh, also celebrating the 250th anniversary of Baccarat crystal. Um, as I said before, it came out in 2014, and it's just a really, really lovely, chunky, five-ounce silver-proof coin. There were only 500 of these minted in, uh, in silver, uh, silver-proof, uh, so the mintage is actually pretty, pretty low. And you can see it's kind of suspended in the middle, so you can see the, uh, the rims really easily. I really like this capsule. Um, but this one is going to be put, obviously, into one of, the, um, one of the large NGC holders. Unless it may, it may just about squeeze into uh, one of the small ones, but I don't think so. I think the diameter is a little bit too large. So it will be in one of the large holders, I think. So, uh, I mean, look at the work on that. It's just really nice. You've got the same red enamel, um, but it's just, there's something about the polished rims uh, and the chunkiness of it, the thickness of it. And you can see you've got the number of the edition. This one's number 39 out of 500 minted. Um, sold out uh, very, very quickly at the, uh, the French Mint, uh, Monet de Paris, and... Uh, Hardly surprising, really. I mean, this is a really, really stunning coin. First one of these I've seen. Uh, I haven't seen this featured in any other YouTube videos, so this may be a YouTube first as well. Um, this is a pretty cool coin. Um, I know a lot of people don't necessarily collect French um, coins, but actually they do make some stunningly designed coins, which often have quite low mintages as well. But of course, there is maybe a slightly smaller collector base for them. So uh, it may be that even though the mintages are a little bit lower, that um, that's the equivalent of you know, maybe 1,000 or 1,500 minted um, you know, for uh, a raw mint coin or something like that, where maybe there's a slightly larger collector base. So coming on to another large 5-ounce coin. And... Uh, You'll never guess where this comes from. Well, you might guess. Uh, the land of the Kiwi, New Zealand. So uh, these coins are actually made and marketed by the New Zealand Post Office, as opposed to the New Zealand Mint. Um, so they do, they do make a variety of their own coins. They make all the Kiwi range coins. Um, I think these coins sold out pretty quickly, or there may be a one or two left from the New Zealand Post Office. Um, they're not particularly cheap, although the New Zealand dollar is uh, you know, particularly good value at the moment, so they're not outrageously expensive either. Um, but um, really, really nice coin. Each year there's a different variety of kiwi. Uh, I don't know how many varieties of kiwi there are or when they're going to run out of kiwi varieties, but they seem to be keeping it going for a while at the moment. So we've got... Uh, a couple of those coins. So uh, there's three of these large coins to grade in this uh, in this entry. Two of the Kiwi ones and one of the uh, the Baccarat ones. So this one is uh, another one of exactly the same. Must check on uh, how many of these coins were minted. Uh, let's have a little check and then we can let you know. 
So let's have a quick diversion. A quick visit to the New Zealand Mint shows that this is, uh, it was 649 uh, New Zealand dollars, but it's uh, sold out. And it's the first year of the, these five ounce silver coins uh, from the Mint. So although they've had Kiwis for a number of years, this is the first time they've done a five ounce silver proof. And of course the mintage of this was restricted to 500 only, which is probably why they sold out so quickly. I, uh, I did say New Zealand Mint there, you probably heard that and uh, said, well, that's wrong. It's actually the New Zealand Post Office and you would be quite right, I was wrong. So uh, if you were thinking of commenting that I was wrong, then uh, I admit it right now. So you don't need to tell me I was wrong in the comments. That's pretty much all for me at the moment. I uh, hope you like that. Please, uh, please do comment, please like, please subscribe. And uh, I promise you there will be a few more coin videos uh, before the next travel video. So have no fear that this is going to uh, develop or degenerate into a travel channel.